280 million people undergo major surgery each year. One million will die within 30 days, and a further 11 million will require intensive care. Curry and colleagues identified a relationship between post-operative complications and early mortality. Median survival was reduced by 69%, from 18.4 to 5.6 years, in patients who developed one or more post-operative complication. By applying these data to the 280 million above, 42 million of these major surgical patients die up to 13 years earlier due to the long-term consequences of their post-operative complications. And our ageing population means these numbers will only increase. The good news is research indicates about 50% of post-operative complications can be avoided with proper hemodynamic diagnosis and management. Understanding and monitoring the interaction between blood flow and blood pressure is crucial in improving hemodynamic control and reducing morbidity and mortality in both surgical and critical care patients. Until now, hemodynamic monitoring has centred around cardiac output and associated parameters. And whilst these parameters are still available on the ODM Plus, VP loops are a new addition, and the ODM Plus is the only technology able to do this. VP loops provide a biomarker for cardiovascular risk and hemodynamic control, and are possible because the ODM Plus measures both aortic flow velocity and arterial blood pressure directly. This concept was developed by clinicians at La Riposiere Hospital in Paris. Real-time simultaneous measurements of both true flow and true pressure are recorded at 180 times per second throughout the cardiac cycle to construct the VP loop. Various features can be identified on the loop. So point A is the arterial pressure prior to ventricular contraction. Point B corresponds with maximum flow velocity. Point C is maximum arterial pressure. And point D is the end of ejection. And the shape of the loop varies depending on vascular resistance and other patient characteristics. In this example, the blue loop represents a high pressure and low flow state, placing patients at risk of conditions such as myocardial infarction, stroke and retinal damage. The green loop represents a more normal state, with optimal flow and optimal pressure. And the red loop represents a low pressure and resistance state with high flow, placing patients at risk of conditions such as myocardial infarction and renal damage. Once generated, three different angles can be calculated from the loop. Firstly, the global afterload angle, or GALA. The value and variation of this angle are directly correlated with parameters such as vascular resistance, aortic stiffness, and wave reflections. The alpha, or ejection angle, is the angle to peak flow velocity resulting from ventricular ejection. And the beta, or reflection angle represents the influence of the reflection wave on the pressure flow relationship. These angles provide information on both cardiovascular risk and the hemodynamic response to treatment. And a gala of more than 68 degrees has been shown to be predictive of cardiovascular disease. So to summarise, Effective perioperative hemodynamic management is essential to reduce the risk of critical illness and postoperative complications and the early mortality associated with them. The ODM Plus is the only technology that provides true flow and true pressure, allowing the generation of velocity pressure loops. And VP loops enable clinicians to better understand the relationship between flow and pressure, providing information on both cardiovascular risk and the hemodynamic response to treatment. We hope you've enjoyed this module on velocity pressure loops. 
For further information on VP Loops, please contact marketing at deltexmedical.com.